Hey cutie, oh my god, this hair. Hold on, I'll be back. That straightened out. Hmm, straighten out. That's funny. Today's video, honestly, is just a video to get to know me. And this is just like, I don't know, like really get ready with me. We're just going to be kind of like chatting and really going in through like, um. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So basically, I just want to like um, do my makeup and then that way you guys can see exactly what I do and what I like doing. But I mean, besides that, oh, and I also, yes, I bought this. You know, this is just going to be like new makeup I bought. Honestly, it's not like old trendy stuff and stuff like that. Um, hopefully in the future, if you guys give me the opportunity. But this is just a box and then I'm just going to be using the makeup and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, let's get started and have some fun. Let me get a small knife. A small knife. Let us open this bitch. And by the way, whenever you're opening a box, don't ever do it this way because then you're going to have the knife going. I do not inspire you children to do what I'm doing. Please. I love opening packages, it's fun. The things I ordered are things actually that I need, meaning like they're they're missing from like my makeup. Like honestly, like I don't have bronzer, I didn't have setting spray. Um, so these are things that were just missing in my makeup collection and just small things that were gonna help me out. So, as you guys can see, we got the little bubble wrap. Shout out to Ulta. Um, I got my Morphe setting spray, I'm good. I got my lashes. I also got my Morphe Glam Bronzer. What shade is this? Venom. Is that the deepest one? Yeah. I also got my Volume... Where's my English? Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Paris. Potty. Um, really good mascara, by the way. And then I also bought two new um, Revolution Makeup... Um, foundation sticks hopefully this is my shade i got f13 i did get the revolution um the hold on let me let me take it out why am i struggling so much it's in a bag so oh i got the revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation these but these were not my shades unfortunately i'm not a person that really likes foundation the only reason i say that is because i can never ever find the right foundation shade for me it's so hard because i'm not so not so hard i'm not in the deepest complexions and i'm not in the like the lightest complexions i'm like more towards like the middle but like i'm a little bit a tiny bit more closer to the deep complexion because right now honestly like i'm really dark because i've i went to the beach the other day so like yeah i'm kind of dark but yeah, I mean, I like these. They're pretty good. Just not my shade. Anyways, continuing back to what I bought. And oh, I got small things. I also got the Milani Baked Blush in 01 Rose. Bruh. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> That's French. I don't speak French. Um, Dulce Pink. So it's a big blush. I heard this is really good, so I'm going to try it out. It's my first time. Honestly, these products are probably really old, but like... I haven't tried them personally, and I would like to get the opportunity to try them, so why not? And then I also got the Pure Pro Eyelash Glue, so hopefully this works out good. Um, I mean, again, like I say, first time using this, so let's see what happens, because I don't really like lashes because they're kind of heavy, but yeah, let's give these products a try. First and foremost, we all love each other, right? We all love each other. We all love ourselves. That was never in the picture. Let's start off by priming our skins as always. So first I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. Honestly, I like this. And of course, you know, I'm not those type of people that buys like hella expensive. I mean, I like to save my money. So I mean, I got a lot of variation between drugstore and also um, high-end brands um, per se. But I mean, yeah, so let's start off by priming. So let that dry for a minute. Girl, I'm thirsty. First impression. 
Why is this in a bit? What? This is not a cute setup. You cute at all? Oh yeah, that's my little bamboo, um, lucky bamboo that I that my color guard gave to me before I left. And I'm thirsty, so mom, I love you, but I'm gonna take some. Let me go wet my sponge. Br brb. Oh, foundation. I was talking about foundation. I actually just bought those, so let's try to see if it's my shade. Uh, foundation sticks. <laughs> oh. There it is. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This is why I can't have nice things. Please be my shade. I mean, I bought this online again, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and just literally rub. This is not my shade. This is not my shade. This is too pink for me. This is not my shade. I do have a brush, but I prefer the sponge a little bit more. I don't know why. I feel like it does a lot more. Um, That's not my shade. This is literally pink. What is wrong with me? I literally look like a salmon. I'm so proud of Serena. Let me try to make some magic work because miracles are not gonna happen here, sis. The funny part is, it doesn't look bad on camera. And sorry, you guys, if I'm looking like beyond the camera, um, it's because I have the mirror right there. I feel like the peanut butter baby, and that ain't good, sweetie. I do have the Maybelline powder, but then I also have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, banana powder. I also have the Master Fix um, translucent powder. I kind of want to go in with this one just because it's like a translucent and it's like white and I want to try to even out my tone. Okay. Oh. <sighs> wow, this... Wow, okay, but honestly, like, besides the point of me not being able to match myself, this foundation is really good. I powdered everything around. I just didn't powder my under eyes because I didn't conceal. So let us try to conceal. I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Concealer. And honestly, this is light as fuck for me too. But let's give it a try. Let's just try to like lighten up. Let's see what happens. Let's just try to have fun. So before this creases, let's go in with the same powder again. And I'm going to go ahead and set the under eyes now. I just realized something. I do not freaking have contour. I've never really bronze. I've never really um, contoured and stuff. So I'm a little scarce. Oh, this is cute. It's heavy. It's pretty heavy. I like this. Oh, and uh, ooh, I'm really scared. Oh, oh that's cute. Now let's go in with the Milani blush in Dulce Pink. What? My face doesn't fit in there. What is this? Oh my God, it's cute. I'm gonna be going ahead and doing my eyebrows and I'm gonna do that off of camera. Okay, now that it actually look like I have hair on my face and I actually look human and I don't look like a freaking naked mole rat. Now let's do some shadow. Oh my God, and this is a palette also from Essence Beauty. It's an eyeshadow palette that ha it has nine shades. Um, I mean, it's a very beautiful palette. I've never really gone into it though. It was given to me by my color guard team again because they know how much I like to do makeup. So start with that. Let me open these brushes though because I haven't really been using makeup a lot lately. I act like if there's people watching this. Um, any of you guys that are watching this that go to Morphe. Your money is like well spent there. Like you're actually paying for what you're gonna get. Like, you know. And I like to do highlighter towards the end because <laughs> highlighter is like my favorite thing. You want to go ahead and give your eyelids some love. You wanna prime them. And for primer, I'm not gonna be using a primer. I'm gonna actually be using the Jeffree Star Concealer as my primer because, I mean, has coverage when i say it has coverage it has coverage 
I want to go ahead and just blend that out with a sponge. I like to go ahead and take advantage of the situation and go ahead and just carve out the bottom of my brow. I, I'm using a flat brush. Um, that's what I use this brush for. Honestly, you can use makeup tools in whatever way you desire. So this is how I'm using my... We're literally just fucking around right now at this point. Okay, so next up, I actually do want to use this palette as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this shade up here called White On. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just put that all over the lid as like to set my base pretty much. I'm going to be using this Morphe brush that's actually really, really big. And it's kind of like flat. Like This is my first time using these. Um, So let's see how this goes. Hopefully they're good. Okay. Yes, there is creases in my eyelids. There's creases on my face. Well, guess what? I'm a guy. Shocker, right? I do have brushes from It Cosmetics. It's like from the little traveling set. They're not the worst brushes, but they're not like the best either. They're pretty darn good. So I'm going to be going ahead and using this small little crease brush from it cosmetics i'm gonna be go ahead and going in with bronze me now what i like to do sometimes is pat the color and i like to bring it in a little bit higher because my eyes are hooded okay so now i'm gonna grab a new brush and i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade down here called choco Chocoholic. Again, this is another brush from Is Cosmetics. It's literally just a shadow brush. It's like a somewhat of like a flat brush, but I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this color and I'm just gonna pat it. I'm not gonna windshield wipe it. Just pat it on the outside because I want to try to focus it as much on the outside to go ahead and give my eyes more deeper depth. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is actually gonna go back with the first brush I used and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. Now this is where I wanna start doing circular motions. And if you can, or if you want, and you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and just dab a little bit and go ahead and just mix it too. So far with this palette though, I'm liking it. It's very cute, very adorable. I like it. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do, so. I ain't complaining. I wanna go back with the other brush with the, um, deeper color and I want to go ahead and just focus it up to like the center and I want to leave it there um so let me go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be back okay next step I'm gonna be doing is actually grabbing the Jeffree Star concealer again and I'm gonna go ahead and actually cut my crease now the thing about cut creases is what I like to do is actually just put it right here first and then from here just blink well not blink open look up look forward and then that's where my cut crease is um i will have to bring it up a little bit higher because i wanted to show now what i'm doing here is i'm actually trying to blend in the concealer to the um to with the shadow sorry and I'm not trying to blend it too much because I want it to have that harsh effect that, like, I cut it. I think I'm actually going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now, I'm going to grab a Morphe brush. Again, I have, these have no numbers, so I'm so sorry I can't give you guys the numbers. But it's like a flat brush. As you guys can see, it's small. It's not that big. And I'm actually going to be going ahead and going with the shade Queen from the Jaclyn X Morphe palette, which is the shade all the way over here. I'm gonna be going ahead and putting that where I cut my crease. So my crease has color. It literally looks like foil and I love it. Now let me do the other eye off of camera and I will be back. Okay, so I am done. I do wanna go ahead and add a highlighter, but I mean, I use gold and literally all my highlighters that I have are freaking gold. These are the Jeffree Star um, Skin Frost highlighters. I absolutely love these. These are worth your money, I swear. Like, these are worth your money. Of course, this is King Tut. I literally hit pan, like, 
one of my faves. This is Dark Horse. Um, I bought this one and I'm going to start using it once I use this one. Once I finish this one, sorry. Another highlighter that I have is actually the Jeffree Star Supreme Frost in the shade Wet Dream. I love these. These are beautiful. These are gorgeous. Like, oh my god. These are, they're amazing. Um, I mean, and then I also have the Liquid Frost from Jeffree Star. Yes, I have an obsession with Jeffree Star. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab like a tiny like packer brush. The shade beam just because it's like a nice pale color and of course i want it to really pop so i'm gonna go ahead and add that to my inner corner now let me do the other eye off of camera and i will be back now, of course we cannot forget the lower lash line so i'm gonna be going ahead and going in with this like nice flat like i like this brush i don't know why Again, sorry, they don't have numbers on them for me to give you guys. This shade right here. There you go, I see something. Now, let me do the other eye off of camera and I will do that. I forgot you guys can't hear me because I have the fan on. Okay, you guys, I honestly think I did pretty freaking good for like not doing makeup in like forever, for like a while. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes. Just kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara. I'm gonna be using the Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Paris. Paris or Paris? Well, I'm guessing they say Paris. So. Now what I like to do is that I like to put it like close to my lash line on the top one. And I want to wiggle and go up. That's what I like to do personally. I don't know what you guys like to do personally. But that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash lines too. Lower lash line too. And I like to do the same effect of just wiggle and down. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I will get back to you guys. Okay, now that mascara is done with... I... Trust me, you guys, the only reason I say I'm scared is because I haven't done this in so long. So, like, I'm a little quaked. So, let's go ahead and open these up. These are from Lash Couture. Mink Collection. Mink Collection. Now, what I like to do is I like to grab the lashless and, like, wiggle. Now for this lash glue. Finding a good lash glue is really hard. So I just went ahead and purchased this one. Girl, do you want me to rip your inside? Okay, I'm ripping the box. Gonna go ahead and air dry these a little bit. These are very pretty. So let me go ahead and do the other eye off of camera and I will be back with you guys. Okay, you guys, both of the lashes are set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put chapstick on. I don't really put lipstick on because I've never really on. I really haven't found like a shade of lipstick that I like on me. I feel like all of them look horrifying. I've gotten rid of so many lipsticks that I bought. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Jeffree Star lip scrub, um, the Velour lip scrub in strawberry. So all I do is literally, literally all you do, literally I go in ham. Now what I like to do is I just like to eat it. Any residue that I do have, any residue, any residue that I have left around my lips, grab a napkin or a towel or whatever you please, but I'm broke. So I'm going to go ahead and just scrape off the little crumbs i like to just put on some chapstick honestly i don't again like i say i don't really have that much money to be spending on like lipsticks and stuff so i just really go ahead and just do my chapstick and that's it um next step is highlighter so for highlighter i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my tried and true king tut from jeffree star cosmetics yes yes that nose now i want the tip of my nose to really pop out so I'm going to go ahead and grab another, like, brush like this. Again, sorry, no number, Morphe. 
It's a Morphe brush and I like to grab some and I like to just focus it on the very tip of the nose. Now to finish this look off and this video off, I'm going to go ahead and be using the Morphe Setting Mist. Continuous Setting Mist, sorry. And we're done, you guys. Oh my gosh. If you made it through all the way through this video, I actually very much appreciate it because this is my first, like, actual real makeup tutorial video that I've actually put effort into doing. Like, honestly, for the foundation not turning out, like, the color I wanted, um, my face actually looks pretty good. Um, anyways, I want to go ahead and thank you guys again very much for actually making making it throughout this video. And if any of you guys are watching, appreciate you um, go ahead and giving your time up for me thank you for watching me and i'm sorry for this ugly ass background but this is where i live um i do want to go ahead and thank you guys again i know i said it like three times already but girl i cannot get enough um i mean yeah thank you it means a lot to me honestly um and i'm excited to start this journey in youtube community because i really want to go ahead and um step up the game i want to go ahead and put my best foot forward in this community so i thank you guys a lot and I hope to see you guys in another video. Thank you very much. Bye.